So, good morning. Um, today. And this mail. This mail. Oh, we got some mail. We got some of Jackson's sandals in the mail. I ordered some sandals for him for our cruise that's coming up, and <laughs> he saw the box and he was very excited. Um, so today is very exciting because we have a super secret mission today. So today, right now, we're filming today on February 28th, which means that tomorrow, what is it? Oh yeah, hold on buddy. Because today is February 28th, that means that tomorrow is March 1st, which if you don't know, means tomorrow is Tim's 40th birthday. So it's like a huge milestone birthday. Um, we do have some plans, we're, we're actually celebrating his birthday a little bit later on in the month, so we won't be celebrating it tomorrow, purely because he is still healing from his hernia surgery, so I wanted to do something fun and he can't do that right now. <laughs> um, so we are gonna get a couple of things for him to open tomorrow morning, and just some fun surprises for him to wake up to, but his actual birthday celebration will be a little bit later on in the month, so just be prepared for that. But I also didn't want you to think that tomorrow is his actual, like, celebration it is a celebration but it's not like we're gonna really celebrate later so today long story short we have a, a little bit of a mission today to go get some things for tomorrow but first we're gonna start with breakfast so good morning okay I'm loving it. thank you I'm loving it. but now i need you to go move it back it goes by your changing table it's your it's your wipes oh can you go put it i told that's why i didn't want you to bring it over here okay bud thank you for helping me though it is for your butt, you're right. Jackson is eating his eggs and watching some Bluey. I'm gonna make some coffee and make some oatmeal. We have some other things planned for today as well. So Jackson has a haircut scheduled and we're gonna do that first. And then we're gonna head over to Disney Springs to, I need to actually, so I bought some stuff for the cruise and I ended up, I, there was a couple of things that I was sort of on the fence about. So I'm gonna return a couple of things, but I need to pick up a couple of other things. And then I just want to see if I can find something for Tim, maybe like a fun little t-shirt. I'd like to get him a card out there because they have this cool card shop. And maybe some like a fun treat because he hasn't really had anything super, you know, exciting since his wisdom teeth actually. So even when he, the last time we went was Valentine's Day and he couldn't really eat anything except for the Dole Whip. I'll link the Valentine's Day video down below if you haven't seen it. But there was some other fun stuff that he wanted to try that he couldn't try because of his teeth. And then he immediately had his hernia surgery. So. He then couldn't eat regular food because of that, because of the anesthesia. They were like, just don't don't have any like dairy or anything for a while. So I'm gonna get him something fun because he hasn't been able to have anything super fun for a while. So that's the plan for today. Oh, well, at least part of the plan. We'll see, I'm sure we'll get into some other fun things too. There he is. Hello. How How's do you feel? I feel pretty good. Yeah? You want me to share some too much information stuff? <laughs> sure. <laughs> Oh, let me show, okay, really quick. All right, so let me show you just really fast what I made for breakfast. I'm having some oatmeal with chia seeds and hemp seeds and granola and almond milk and bananas. Yeah. What are you eating now? You ate all your eggs and now what are you having? What's this? A bar. A bar, a bar? it's a blueberry bar, blueberry breakfast bar. Oh, it's very hot, but you can have some in just a second when it cools down, okay? Look at this hair, I feel like, uh, like what's his name? Who? The guy, thank you. Hey, how's it going? Not Elvis, but the other one, the cartoon. What? Oh, Johnny Bravo? Johnny Bravo. <laughs> so the whole reason that I had to take the laxative was so that I didn't have to go to the bathroom for a few days, or at least one day after the surgery, because pushing is hard. So that, has, that, time, that time has passed, and now things are starting to move through again. And uh, it's been really hard, because the pushing itself is hard. It just takes a really long time. But today was, it took a long time, but it was productive. There you go, there's the too much information from Tim. It was a productive day in that sense of the word. Okay, it's a little bit later. We are headed out to Jackson's haircut. So we're gonna go over to Pigtails and Crew Cuts and we've gotten his haircut there twice now. We're still waiting for Disney's, like the barbershop in Magic Kingdom to open up. I don't know if it's ever gonna open, but I am really happy with the haircuts that we've been getting at Pigtails and um, Crew Cuts. They've been doing a really great job, so we're gonna go do that now. You ready to get your hair cut? Mm -hmm. Yeah, how, is your hair very long? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. All right, so we're gonna go get his haircut. So he picked the airplane. What did they give you here, buddy? You got all your little magnet guys? 
The pink thing? Yeah. Let me see. Oh my goodness. You look so nice, buddy. Oh, but I think we have to give that back because we're all done with our haircut. Next time we come, you can play with it. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> Jaxi, let me see this new hair of yours. Did they give you two balls from the treasure chest? That was very nice of them, huh? All right, so we are headed into, we're headed to Disney Springs. Of course, we're going under the iconic sign. So this is kind of a weird feeling for me because I haven't been to any like Disney thing without Tim. <laughs> so it's kind of like a strange day, but I think it's gonna be a lot of fun because we, uh, like I told you guys earlier, we are on the birthday mission. We're trying to find some stuff for Tim's birthday. All right, what are you doing, bud? Yeah? Um, so he is getting really tired. I hope that I can keep him up for just a little bit longer so that I can take care of Tim's birthday stuff. And then we wanted to try to grab a little lunch and maybe ride the train in the carousel. So we'll see if we can get all of this done before two. It's 11.20 right now. So fingers crossed. First ride of the day. What are we riding in? The elevator. The elevator. Very good, bud. <laughs> oh, he's wearing his new shoes too. Let's show everybody your shoes. Can I see them? Look how cool these are. Again. Oh no, not a, we're gonna ride the elevator on our way out. What do you think? We gotta go get some stuff for daddy's birthday. You ready? So we immediately put our name on the Gideon's list. It's a 70 minute wait right now. And then I think we're gonna go have lunch right here at Wine Bar George because Lynn has never been here. And um, I love it. So we're, and Jackson loves it. So that's what we're gonna do right now. So lunch and then cookies and then some rides for Jackson. So we went over to Wine Bar George. They don't actually open until noon, which I, I should know that, but I did not know that. So we have about 10 minutes. We're gonna go try to grab a card for Tim's birthday from Love Pop, which is, they have just like really cool cards that are um, like pop-up cards. And uh, I thought maybe I could try to find him some, like a fun one for his, his big 40th. So we'll see what we can find over there. So here's an idea of the cards. They have the ones that look like a bouquet of flowers. This one's really fun. I don't think I would get it for Tim, but it's like a, a greenhouse card. There's some for celebrating. Oh, look at this one has a little baby Yoda. Oh, they even have like little ones. Oh, this is fun with like a little birthday cake. Oh, don't touch, bud. Hmm. Oh, okay, so we're in the birthday section now. So I feel like one of these would be a good one for him. Oh, this one's fun. Happy birthday. Oh, this one's cool too. A little Mickey cupcake. Party galactically with the uh, Star Lord. Oh, Feliz Cumpleaños. So this is the 50th anniversary card collection. They have Ariel, Cinderella, and Jasmine. These are so pretty. Wow, I love that. So you get all three? Uh, you actually get five. Oh, you get five, wow, okay. All right, we are on the train. Oh, all aboard! All aboard! It was $10 for four tokens. What do you think? Do you like the train? <laughs> so we get lovely views of this, um, of these potted plants and these potted plants and these potted plants. Look at that. What do you think? I love your haircut. So we got on the train. That was really fun. Yeah. yeah. So now Wine Bar George is open. It's after 12. So we're gonna go ahead to lunch, get a little something to eat. I, we're all very hungry. And then I think we're gonna ride the carousel and do a little more shopping for Tim's birthday. How you doing, bud? You ready for lunch? You know what's really funny is we saw somebody wearing the same shirt. Jackson has a twin out here. You guys are wearing the exact same shirt, bud. So we are making our way over to Wine Bar George, which is right here. They just opened, so hopefully they'll have a table free. Let's go see. We were able to get a table outside. We're just staring over at Gideon's, waiting for them to, to text us for our cookie time. But they got Jackson's food out so fast. We ordered the kids meatball with fruit. 
and uh, it came with a little apple juice. It came out in literally like five minutes. It was so, so quick. So that was um, awesome. I love that. And I think we're gonna order some crispy mac and cheese balls. We're gonna do a cheese plate. We're gonna try the roasted beets, which is something I have never actually seen on the menu. So I'm excited to try that. And then I think one more thing, the grilled romaine salad. So um, Lynn's never been here, so I'm excited to bring her. This is my favorite place. So I'm always excited to introduce this place to other people because I love it so much. And I think I might even have a little glass of wine while we're here because it is Wine Bar George. So, you know, one in, one in Rome. We're trying something new today. This is the roasted beets. It's whipped laurel Chanel goat cheese and pistachio streusel with roasted beets. This looks really nice. I love pistachio and I love beets and I love goat's cheese. So I feel like this is gonna be just like right up my alley. Jackson, are you gonna try some beets? I don't think you've ever had beets before. Do you like it? You didn't spit it out. All right. Nice work, bud. We have California blue cheese, Tom still Tom, and unpasteurized cow's milk cheese from Georgia, Manchango from Spain, and Seattle Washington cheddar with almonds, olives, and fig puree. Ooh, Enjoy. thank you. Hold on, buddy. No, you can't have the olives. You can't have the olives. They're too crunchy, okay? I know. So we got the grilled romaine, the small cheese board, and the mac and cheese bites. And I also got a little glass of champagne. And here is the aftermath of lunch. I'm gonna take some of this stuff home for Tim. Like, I think he would enjoy the cheese. We have one more mac and cheese bite. I don't know that he would eat this salad though. So I might just bring a couple of things home for him. I'm gonna take the fruit for Jackson. But this was such a lovely lunch. Jackson was so good. He sat through the entire lunch. We didn't even need to bring any like coloring books or anything. He did such a good job. Some of the highlights from the lunch today for sure was the goat's cheese and beet, the roasted beet dish. And then the cheese board was really nice. Yeah, I really enjoyed that cheese board. So, and of course the mac and cheese bites are always good. But I highly recommend checking out Wine Bar George. It's just so lovely. Like, we always have great service. The food is high quality, really, really nice. It is a little bit pricier, but um, I do think it's worth it. So, now they have texted me saying that our Gideon's time has come. So we're gonna go get in line for Gideon's, and then I think we're gonna head out because it's Jackson's nap time. So yeah, I think this was a very productive day at Disney Springs. I had a really great day. I missed him, but he needs to rest, so hopefully he's doing that. We're in line for Gideon's. Um, we were a little bit late, but they let us in, so we're all good. And it is currently hot cookie hour, so they did say that we could get the Eternal Flame cookie, and today's the very last day for the Eternal Flame cookie, but we can also get it with ice cream today. I don't think we're gonna do that because we're gonna head to the car, and I don't know how well the ice cream will do, but um, be aware that it, they do have hot cookie hour. So cookies and ice cream. So we waited about 10 minutes, and now we're inside of Gideon's. We're gonna get some cookies for Tim's birthday. I think I'm gonna get a coffee. Uh, yeah, right now they have the Andy's Mint Cookies and Cream Cake, the Key Lime Pie Cake, and then today's the last day for the Eternal Flame Double Frosted Cake. But look how beautiful this is. I love the drips. So I think I'm gonna get the Key Lime Pie Cake for Tim, because that's a little different. So he might like that for his birthday tomorrow. So we're all done with Gideon's. We got a few things and of course we had to get the cold brew Jackson really wants to try the cold brew but I'm trying to explain caffeine to him and how caffeine is bad for you so since Jackson did so good today we stopped and got him a balloon and he picked out this Mickey balloon he said this is the one I want wow bud hold on to it <laughs> he's just staring up at his balloon should we give this to daddy for his birthday I don't know. I don't know about that one. So it is time to go. There's a huge school group here too. I guess they do field trips to Disney Springs, which I thought was pretty interesting. Um, so we're gonna take this balloon and get out of here. It was a very successful day to the Springs. We were able to go to almost every store we wanted to go to and we were able to get Tim some special birthday surprises for tomorrow. So this is like the, the fourth ride of the day. We got to ride two elevators, a train and an escalator. Wow. All right, we're back home. While you guys are out having fun. Hey, look, you're a Gideon stand. I know, I wore it specifically. You're eating your Gideon's cookie, wearing your Gideon shirt. Look at you. Yeah. I uh, I was at home yeah. resting. Mm -hmm. The surgery place called me and they're like, how's it going? Yeah. And I was like, actually pretty good. I was like, I would say like that day, I was like a seven out of 10 with pain. And then it went down to like a six. I think I'm at like a 
five or a four right now. And she's like, oh, are you taking the pain medication? I was like, no. She's like, you're handling your pain without the pain medication? I was like, yes. She's like, oh, but you're taking Advil. I was like, well, no, I mean, it's not that bad. And she's like, you're amazing. I was like, am I? I don't think so. I think you probably just say that to everybody. And I was like, she's like, you could do a class on pain management and how to recover from surgery. And I was like, what? Okay, all right. <laughs> I was like, you just say that to all the surgery patients. <laughs> so we just got back from Disney Springs and we got you a cookie. Yeah. What do you think? It's good. I'm, like, so I'm gonna eat half of it now. Yeah. Then I'm gonna put it in the refrigerator because Gideon's cookies are better to me. In the fridge. Out of the fridge. Okay, I like it. I hate warm cookies. Yeah, it's so weird. I know. I don't like melty chocolate inside of cookies. Hmm. I like a cold cookie. Okay. It's good. Very good. But I don't like cold cookies that are hard. Oh, okay. So like these this cookie doesn't. It no, does. It like never the, gets like super hard because they're so thick. Well, the chocolate chips get hard. Oh, uh, okay. But like the actual cookie, because there's probably so much butter in this. This probably one cookie probably has like a stick of butter. A stick of butter. <laughs> in it. And I'm just eating a stick of butter at this point. Mmm. Yummy. Mmm. Yeah. Well, happy birthday. Thank you. You're welcome. It's not even my birthday yet. <laughs> okay, so now it's dinner time. I just finished editing a video. Um, Lynn went home for the day. Jackson was eating some leftovers from Wine Bar George. So he had a very delicious lunch and dinner. And then I said, Tim, what do you want for dinner? And he said, I want scrambled eggs with turkey deli meat in it. Yeah, And delicious. I said, okay, is that all you want? That's the good stuff. We <laughs> have like something else too, like maybe some fruit or something, but. Yeah, we have a lot of fruit. Yeah. And you have your cookie. I'm gonna eat that for sure. Mm -hmm. There are times that like, cause I haven't been doing a lot. Yeah. Like, I don't want a big meal. Yeah, yeah. You know? Because, like, sense. I'm not expending too much energy. Right. They want cookies, though, so. <laughs> oh, speaking of, like, wanting chocolate and cookies and stuff, we went grocery shopping the other day. I think we told you guys that we were going. Whoa. You're all done? You're all done? I think we told you we went grocery shopping, but I found this and I wanted to show you. I found this, it's called Healthy Choco Bite. Oatmeal bites with chocolate and dried fruits. So these actually are pretty delicious. They don't look very good, but they taste pretty good. It tastes kind of like a chewy, like a super chewy brownie. Pretty nice. Hey, what'd you do, bud? Did you break your balloon? Or do we have a hole in our balloon? Sounds like it's coming from over here. Oh no. There's a hole in your balloon, buddy. How'd you do that? Look, you see? Right there, there's a hole. You wanna feel it? You <gasps> feel the air coming out? Let's put some tape on it, bud. You ready? Okay. 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 Let's do it, buddy. How did how did you do that? We just you've had this balloon for like two hours. He was hitting it up to the fan. Oh, and it popped on the fan? Oh my God. Well, it didn't actually pop. He goes, I forgot. I need it. Okay, let's give it to daddy. Let's All do right. surgery on this balloon. Oh yeah, surgery is great. You ready to do surgery on the balloon? Let's go, let's go, quick, quick, quick. It's losing air. Losing air fast. Okay, bud. All right, let me get a little piece of tape and then you can you, give it to you, daddy. Your hand on my hand. Okay. I'm getting it for you, buddy. Okay, buddy. Put it, put it right here. You ready? Quick. Almost. Right there. Yeah. Okay, rub your finger on it to make sure that it's on there nice and tight, like this. Did we do it, Doc? Okay. What are his vitals? Oh no, did it not work? No, it did. I was just trying to make sure that it's like 100% attached. I can give you another piece of tape. You want to? No, I think it'll be fine. It was just like he put it in one spot and I had to quick take it off and move it to a different spot. Oh no. And all because of this fan right here. I'm not a fan of that fan anymore. <laughs> Me either. I used to be a fan. Right, I think we'll but now it. I'm just an air conditioner. That's people used to leave that comment <laughs> in the comments because it's kind of like misleading. It's like I used to be a fan, but now I'm just an air conditioner. Oh. Are you trying, trying to blow, blow it back it up? More. Thank you, bud. Good job, you did it. You fixed the balloon. All right. Do you guys want to see? What? My belly. Oh yeah, let's see the incision. Let's see my big bruise. Yeah. Ooh. How's your belly button doing though? Oh yeah. So it's weird because I, I like forgot about it for a second and I like itched. Oh no. There was like a lot of a lot of uh, glue inside of my belly button. Oh no. She did say it'll come out like it'll flake off. Yeah, in like a couple of days now it'll yeah. come off. So, Dang. My little hairless belly. Oh no. <laughs> it'll grow back. Don't yeah, worry. No, I know it already is, but like 
It's just so funny. Oh no, your bruise does look painful. I mean, it doesn't feel great. Yeah. But it's not bad. It looks like a. Uh, looks like, like I weird... got into a car accident or something. Yeah, like weird tie dye. Oh yeah. Huh. But yeah, those are my three incisions. There's one here, one there, and one down there. Yep. All right. We did it. You did it. Surgery on a balloon. Yeah. So here's a fun thing that we've been doing. We've been putting things from one container into another. Like for example, this container was full of rice. This one was empty over here, but we've been using the measuring cup to transfer rice from one container to another. And it's very fun. He loves it. Wow. <laughs> so this is just hours of fun for the little buddy. So here's my question. When am I over the hill? Because I feel like a long time ago, they used to think that like 30 was over the hill. When you hit 30, they're like, oh, over the hill. That's like you're, you're, you're done for. Does one give you black balloons and all that other stuff? And then I think in like the 70s and 80s, they were like 40 is over the hill. But I feel like nowadays, it's got to be like 50 or 60, right? Because I turn 40 tomorrow. I'm an old man. As you can tell by the general state of, of myself, laid out on the couch after surgery, no wisdom teeth type stuff going on. Other than those things, I feel like I'm not really over the hill. I'm not on the decline, am I? I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it positive and say, no I'm not. So, I hope you guys really did enjoy hanging out with Jen today, Jen and Jackson out at Disney Springs. I will be back in action soon. But I am just trying to like rest as much as possible to make sure that I can heal up so that I can get back out there and do stuff. Yeah, I do feel good though. I feel pretty good. Like I feel like I could go out within the next couple of days and like be totally fine. Maybe not spend the entire day out, but at least have a little like a little excursion and then come back home and rest. So all in all, today was a great day. Tomorrow is my birthday. So with that being said, we are off. We'll see y'all tomorrow. Hi, I'm Chris. And I'm Brittany. And now it's time, time to, to pay, pay the, the price. price.